Alright, how's it going guys? Tom here, bringing you another game of Black Ops 2. We are playing some free for on the map hijacked. And this is the exact second game that I used the KSG-12 shotgun. And what just happened pretty much sums up what I'm going to talk about today. Which is the KSG-12 and the shotguns in general. But uh, first off, let's touch on the gameplay. Free for on hijacked. And the outcome of this game is... Uh, a lot better than I would have ever expected. I actually managed to play second in this gameplay. No, I don't win the game. Um, I don't think I would have ever won this game even if I tried my absolute hardest. Even if my aim had been spot on because having good aim with this gun seems to do absolutely nothing. I remember my aim last night was pretty damn good. I was playing very well. I was using the, uh, I think this will be MSC something, uh, SMG, which was doing me a lot of good. And look at that, what the hell? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even explain that. I mean, you aim your shotgun straight at a dude and with the shotgun having a lot of spread, it should drop that guy instantaneously. I mean, most of the time, or some of the time anyway, I was dropping people pretty comfortably, but there were just rare moments, well, not exactly rare moments, but moments where I was aiming right at a guy, and I would literally shoot five times, even if I was, you know, if, if he had no idea I was there, I would not be able to kill him because it just nothing happened. It was a bit like Magikarp using Splash on the Pokemon games. Oh yes, I remember that very well, and I do use that reference plenty. When I'm playing on Xbox Live, um, I guess you'll think I'm kind of weird or whatever, but for those of you who have played Pokemon or whatever it is, I haven't played for ages, but I always seem to make that reference when I'm playing COD or any kind of game. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stupid, I do not know. And when this guy killed me with his shotgun, I was just like, why didn't I just go back to the, the pump action shotgun that I was using and I was loving, and I do have a few gameplays with that, so you will see that, but... I was so mad, as you can see right here, I was knife in the air, I was about to throw some freaking grenades and stuff, because I was also getting killed by bouncing Betty's in this game, bouncing Betty's, sorry, which pissed me off real bad, I don't, I don't understand why they're so good in this game, I never seem to realize they're there, and because I don't use a headset, because footsteps are non-existent anyway, uh, I don't bother using my headset so I can't hear them go off, I like playing with my TV muted so I can hear what's going on. Down the stairs, here if my parents are coming up, etc, etc. I'm sure you guys know what I'm on about, but back to the KSG-12 before this game ends. Um, yeah, I'm just not really sure what's going on, really. It seems that year in, year out, the shotguns are pretty terrible on each new Call of Duty game. And look at that again, same thing. Somehow I managed to kill that guy. He had absolutely horrendous aim, so that kind of saved my ass. That didn't, though. I got shot on the corner, uh, a wall, whatever. Maybe through the wall. I don't know. It's, it's apparently very easy to shoot through walls in this game, but for some reason, that, well, that bullet definitely did bend. Um, which seems legit. Um, but in any case, that's the end of the gameplay. I, I played second with uh, 18 kills, and my KD was like 1 point something, which is pretty respectable for the second game I used this gun. Um, it just wasn't doing anything for me. I'm trying to level it up, and I don't care what happens to my KD. I am, um, you know, always be. I've always been a shotgun kind of guy. I love using the shotgun, so I'm going to keep, try keep trying to level it up and uh, just get some success with it. Maybe bring you guys a better gameplay, but for now, give me your thoughts on the KSG-12, and I'll see you later.